Uh, some of your projects outside of Transformers, um, fantastic caves and, and things like that. <laughs> What's it like going from you know, animation and into that? I, I had a buddy, I, I lived in Kansas City, and I, I had a buddy that was uh, decided he'd be a filmmaker, and he'd been doing it, and he rustled up to have different films, and he said, uh, I, I, I need to make a film for uh, the caves. Uh, and so we went, we went down there, there, there was a lot of, that was, there was a lot of fun. It, it's, re it's really dark in a cave. It takes a lot of light to do a film in a cave, but I learned, I learned a bunch. It's so long ago that somebody wrote me and, sa and said that, that that tape is still available. Freaked me out. And so I, 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 w I went back and looked at it, and it, uh, I, I recognized him. But uh, something happened. I, I couldn't do that the same way now. <laughs> It's, uh, it takes a lot of energy to, uh, to work on a set all day and do take after take. Uh, and I guess the way I phrased that, I, I just sort of assumed that was uh, after Transformers. Was that No, it was before. Or, yeah, no, okay. it, it was well before, yeah. I just started talking. I thought, wait a minute. I just sort of made an assumption there. <laughs> I think the cave, I think the cave uh, documentary thing was uh, in the late 70s. Okay. What do, you, what do you think about caves, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great place to hide out when they're after you. Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> uh, 